there's been a noticeable change here on the New York State Fairgrounds regarding the smoking policy. Designated areas where you're supposed to be going. News Channel Lines Madison Moore joining us now. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are the only places you're supposed to be smoking, but people Correct. don't seem to be following the rules. What have you been hearing from people out at the fairgrounds? Yeah, so definitely on opening day, I did not see many people following those rules, especially right on the Expo Center here at our new home. There was a ton of people lining that wall smoking, and there is a designated smoking area over there, but now it does seem to be getting a little bit better. It seems like people are, are starting to notice that they should be in those areas and staff are going around reminding people to go in there. And I have got a general consensus that families are feeling better, uh, that have young kids with them. They're feeling safer that there are those six designated areas throughout the perimeter of the fairgrounds. And even smokers that I spoke with said they didn't find the areas to be super inconvenient. And we actually had a chance to speak with interim fair director Sean Hennessy. And he said from what he's seen, people are more than happy to comply with the new rule. I literally just circumvented uh, the fairgrounds, just checking out the sites. People are utilizing them. And I have found a few folks on my own uh, that don't really know about the policy. And everybody has been so friendly about saying, I am so sorry. And once you explain this is a family friendly, friendly atmosphere, they're totally cool about finding a location that we've designated. And actually, right after we did the interview with Sean, there was someone smoking not in the area, and he went right over, and he said, hey, would you mind going to the designated area? And the person put their cigarette right out. So oh, wow. it does seem like it's going to be, you know, working. Curve, right? Exactly. It's a learning curve, and we'll have more tonight on News Channel 9, 11 at 11. Okay. All right, Madison, thank you. It's good to yep. see people are willingly complying. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Make it good for everybody, right?